Decade after the Phoenix lights appeared over the valley, people are still searching for answers. It was 13 years ago the lights captured the world's attention, and for one valley woman, it was a life changing event. 3TV's Jared Dillingham has her story. Major sighting here on the 13th of March. Weird happenings in the skies over Phoenix. And no one seems to be able to explain what it was. On March 13, 1997, this sighting over Phoenix became the most famous mass UFO sighting in the world. Yes, most things can be explained, but there's a small percentage that cannot. The so-called Phoenix Lights changed Dr. Lynn Kitai's life. She was one of hundreds of witnesses. Once I knew that other people had seen what I had seen, that really hit home because, wow, maybe what I've documented is important. For the last 13 years, she's researched the sighting, hoping for answers. She even set aside her medical career for several years. You know, I've, I've tried to look endlessly, I mean meticulously, for a logical source and meaning for what I had witnessed and photographed. Her research culminating in a book about the sighting, which has been updated this year with new information about that night. Whoever did this wanted to be seen. And to this day, we still don't know. It cannot be explained or denied. She also produced an award-winning documentary. But the question lingers. People saw something. What was it? We don't have the technology yet to definitively define what these things are. But that doesn't mean they're not real. Three years after the 1997 sighting, the Arizona Air National Guard staged this demonstration, saying the lights were military flares. We all got calls asking where our aircraft were that night, and we all checked, and none of our aircraft were in that area. But as we looked onward a couple months later, we found out we had visiting aircraft. But the demonstration didn't settle the debate. And I have to say that it just didn't make it. For anyone that had seen the true mass sighting, it was a joke. Flares like these put off smoke, and witnesses say there was no smoke associated with what they saw. So now, more than a decade later, the lights remain a mystery, but one that Kitai says deserves a closer look. So the data speaks for itself. I just urge people to look at the data, and that's one of the main reasons I came forward. If I can be a, a credible voice so that people actually look at the data, then I've done my job. The Phoenix Lights documentary will have a special showing this weekend. The new movie debuts this Sunday at the Harkin Shea 14. That's at Scottsdale Road in Shea. Showtimes are 1 and 4 p.m. I remember looking at it, it was coming over the mountain and it was like almost as wide as one of the humps. And it was very low. Well, you know, I 